Yeah, we're good. Well, today we're gonna be hanging out with uh, Guns and Chicken Strips. We're gonna hit up one pond that I, I, I marked as I was driving by on the freeway on the way up to the Guggen House. And I really wanna kinda see if it has any fish in it. We might hit it on the way back in, I don't know. But we're gonna stop by Bass Pro because we're gonna buy stuff for this next two days. There was a giant, giant kind of rainstorm. Tor apparently a tornado landed down here yesterday somewhere by his house. Tore up the Home Depot. We're gonna do that. Always buckle up for safety. That's what you do when you get in a car. We're gonna go by uh, Bass Pro to grab some stuff uh, for bed fishing here. Yeah, the uh, you know, people. Wow, bed fishing for the next two days because that is what the plan is to go out to East Texas and try to catch some more bedded big fish. But today we're gonna hit up some ponds with uh, old guns and chicken strips, hang out with him for a little bit. See if we can get on some uh, good old pond fishing action. Then we gotta pick up the truck here in the next by six, so. It's gonna be one of those kind of vlog fishing fun kind of days. Coming at you. <laughs> Got him with that. Random. We just showed up here a little bit ago at the house. I wanna show you guys something real quick though. This is pretty pretty awesome. MTV sent this thing over. It's got a it's got the good old tank. Hello Kitty, that's pretty insane. Uh, you guys know what that is. You guys can probably figure out what's going on here with this. Oh god, what do you got going on there, Flair? Dope beats. John's all over the place with dope beats and hot knives. I don't think John was anything to do with hot knives. I think John just made the uh, badass knife video. We picked up a new, a new friend at the house. Like, he's a new friend of ours. We met him at the Classic. He doesn't really talk very much. He kind of just hangs out. He doesn't really... He just kind of hangs out there. You know, his name's Bill. Uh, I don't know if we're going to change his name at all. He's got really good looking shoes on. Really about these shoes, Bill. They look real good, buddy. He just doesn't talk very much. Lionel. Well, Lionel, you just, you gotta... What are you doing, man? Back issues. You got back issues. Okay, update. We fixed Lionel. We did fix Lionel, and we got that hung up. I don't know what Lionel's gonna do back there. He doesn't, he just, I don't know if he just doesn't talk. I don't know if he's got some issues. Oh. If you guys wanna send stuff to the Guggen house, because we're trying to fill this up with a bunch of fan art, a bunch of stuff for you guys, I'll put the P.O. box down below. We're changing everything over to that one P.O. box. Everybody in here is gonna be on one P.O. box. But this looks pretty good. This is the kind of view you guys are gonna get. Pretty much, that's gonna be the podcast view with a creepy Lionel guy in the background. Thank you, MTB, for sending that over to the house. It's pretty crazy looking. So I was doing a little bit of research online, trying to find bank fishing areas, because I mean, I don't, I don't go bank fishing a ton, but I'm trying to do a little bit more, cause, so I can relate a bit more to you guys, because a lot of you guys bank fish. And if you guys are in Texas, I found this map that I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it in the description below. Some sort of bank fishing map that has a bunch of locations, like a hundred different bank fishing locations here in Texas. I don't know what directions to them at all. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that in the description below. So all you guys that are in Texas that are looking for more bank fishing spots, this might help you out some because hopefully it helps me out. We're gonna go to the first one that I found and you're gonna go up here and want you to go that way basically. So I don't, yeah, take a right, go right, you're going right. But other than that, that's kind of, it's kind of the game plan. I'll show you guys the, the place when we get there and make sure you go check out that link. Maybe it'll help some of you guys out. We're at the first place. It is windy. It is very windy. I was originally gonna be throwing a Senko. I'm sure you guys can barely hear me, but I'm gonna throw this. I'm gonna throw that little tiny Tiny swimming Senko today, and uh, Jimmy's gonna be throwing a chatterbait, little chatter chatterbait. So I wanna put this camera back into the truck, flip over to GoPro, and see if we can catch something on this pond right here. That one. It's about as about as pondish as you can get. Fish. Oh god. Oh got him. Yeah, I got a fish. Oh, it's a good fish, dude. That's a good fish out of this little pond. <laughs> it is. Right wow, that's a good fish, guys. I'm going to flip them all the way up here. <laughs> <That's so nice. laughs> what? Look at that. First three casts, we caught a fish. Wasn't really too uh, optimistic about that. Look at that. Pond fishing at its <laughs> finest right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's fun. That's awesome. All right, let's see if we can get this thing back in the water a little. Cool. 
first fish of the day comes in uh, the first five minutes. That's awesome. That was cool, dude. Wasn't expecting that, to be honest with you guys. This is the same bait that I was using the other day where I told you guys I think this could be one of the best setups, but I was talking, I mainly was referring to best pond fishing kind of setups because I really do think this is one of them. Right in the center, this is so such a good little setup. You guys really need to check this out. Dude, this water is just destroying me. One. You got a fish? Oh, get him, Jimmy. Get him. Flip him. Flip him. <laughs> Two fish, pond fishing. Oh, Dude, this yeah. is fun, man. Jimmy's got that white chatterbait on. First fish. Go follow Jimmy. He'll be linked down below. Good buddy of mine. You guys will love him. He's a good guy. I'm going to get back to fishing. We're going to make a move because I'm telling you guys right now, that right there, probably, I don't know if it's covering, it's so bad. It, it, I mean, it feel, probably feel really good on a on a uh, hot day, but yeah. Let's, I bet you my screen's nice and watery now, nice and crusty. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, this area is not panning out. Let's go back over to where we started. <clears throat> and if that doesn't work, we'll go to a uh, a new pond. That is good. Oh God. <laughs> That's the same one that just came up and hit it a second ago? Same exact spot. Damn. Fish. Got one. Nice. Yes. Second fish for me. Jimmy's got three fish now. Another one in the same spot. Come here, little buddy. Oh. Another pond fish. We're gonna sit there for about five more minutes so we're gonna probably leave, maybe possibly try another pond on that map. Yeah, you guys should uh, go click that link below and then kind of put your own, put your put your own ponds on there. See how many ponds we can get that thing filled up because a lot of people in Texas, or I guess you could probably do it for any state, honestly, need somewhere to go fish from the bank and that might be able to help you guys out. I know you guys probably couldn't hear a word I was saying when I was trying to explain to you guys because it's very windy out there. But you know what you guys should do after you guys go look at the link to go uh, find some ponds in your area? You guys should put like, you guys should put more locations on there so it'll help me and help everybody else that's watching and trying to find places in their area to fish. And I don't think it's just Texas, I think it's everywhere. That's like a big Google map. We might be able to stop at one and look at one more pond uh, on the way back down to the house. So. We gotta get prepped for tomorrow because me and John are gonna be leaving at like two, three in the morning to go way out in East Texas and fish for the next two days on lakes we've never fished before. So I fished here back in the summer. Well, yeah, probably the end of summer and I did not catch a single thing here. But I thought I should try it again. I've already got something in my shoe. Thought I'd come down here and give it a shot, you know? We got about an hour or so we're gonna kill here and then uh, head back on towards the house and get prepped for this weekend's, or this week, the right next two days of uh, going on the search for the double digit bass again. This water clarity looks pretty damn good actually. I didn't, it wouldn't have seen me on my camera. I was facing this way when I saw it. Oh, bass got him, got him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, I was just kind of like letting it rest on top of this this little uh, pond weed looking stuff. I don't, this is a pond weed, some sort of aquatic vegetable. Fish. There we go. In the grass <laughs> or the aquatic vegetation. Aquatic <laughs> vegetation. There we go. Well, there's another one for you guys. You want to try doing this? No? Well, we are making an adjustment right now. We are walking down the side of this uh, pond. Don't have an idea if it's going to be any better fishing down here. I'm just kind of looking for some more of that grass. There wasn't very much of it right there. What's up? There's that grass right there. Oh, there's some more grass? Yeah, see, we're going to... Let's, let's try to see if we can find more of this. Maybe there's a bass inside here who wants to play ball. Bum, 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 bum. There's an, there's an odd smell over here. It smells, uh, smells quite ripe. This aquatic vegetation has started to make its way onto the shore now. Let's see if we can catch some fish, uh, 
brush over here it smells like uh, I got a ripe smell of just straight poop yep it smells like uh, actual poop right here it smells like human feces right here it smells like a, a dude just came over here and took a turd somebody just came over here and just you know dropped shorts and just let let it all let loose right here somewhere Got him. Oh, oh, man. Little thing missed it completely. There's a fish. He's on. Got him. <laughs> we came back and we got that pesky little bugger that missed it last time. Granted, there's probably only three fish in this entire lake and I've probably caught them all, but we're good to go. I feel good about that. I like ending it on that kind of a note. It's gonna be a good time, man. A lot of awesome stuff coming up. Oh no, where's that at? No, where are you at? Damn it. I probably should have started filming that a little earlier. That was a hassle. Let's go inside. I almost started editing this video without doing an outro, <clears throat> which would be something that I would do normally. But today was a good day. Got to knock out a little bit of chores, get prepped for tomorrow. My goal for the next two days. I almost held up three fingers there, but the goal for two, the next two days is to catch <clears throat> between John and I, I really, really think we could get on a double digit. We're going to two lakes in East Texas, two separate lakes. One of them I've never fished. So you guys are going to be able to see me, I don't know, kind of approach a lake and, and try to break it down real quick for y'all and why I'm going to these areas during this time of year. I know a lot of people probably think it's real easy to go bed fishing and catch big fish. I don't know. A lot of people that watch this channel are new to it. So I'd like to kind of show you guys as I'm going throughout my day to, tomorrow and hopefully the next day, but it is a solid 9 p.m. and I gotta get up at 3 a.m. for a four hour drive almost to Louisiana to go on a lake I've never fished. That's how we do it. Avery's asleep right over there so I can't do the loud watcha but I will see you guys tomorrow. Watcha quiet I'm not a book.